Thank you, Osra. It's been almost six months since the CDC announced what was thought to be the first confirmed coronavirus case in the United States. Our annual awards dinner was scheduled for March the 24th. In early March, a postponement was decided and then another and then another. We waited, wondering when we would be able to gather again. Then it became apparent for the health and well-being of all involved, we had to cancel camp community, the interfaith dialogues, and all the table talks. As the entire world was undergoing some kind of home confinement and a number of people living in isolation, we asked what could we do. It was decided to transition to the virtual dialogues, granted not quite the same as meeting in person, but as many were making adjustments to their daily lives, we too decided to make adjustments. We created virtual spaces so that we could connect with program participants for table talks and the interfaith dialogues and a circle scene with former camp community delegates and leadership. As you heard both Paul and Osra mention table talk, the newest of our programs, Table Talk provides a small group of people the opportunity to share their life experiences and deeply listen to one another. While originally planned as a one-time event, people have participated in multiple Table Talks. Each experience is different and based on the story shared. We have held over 15 virtual Table Talks on general topics that address life in general, faith, and spirituality. And most recently, we've offered table talks on the topic of race. It is always a highlight at the annual awards dinner to hear from a camp delegate. When the first night of Camp Community 2020 would have taken place, we held holding spaces, a virtual gathering for camp alumni and leadership to check in regarding George Floyd's death. The event concluded with a circle sing. We facilitated three six-week interfaith dialogue series, and our first virtual interfaith dialogue series began this month. This series brings together people and connects communities of faith and spiritual practice. People gather because of their differences, learn from one another, and gain a greater appreciation of their own faith tradition. We also hosted our second interfaith retreat for those who previously had participated in the interfaith dialogue session. Those who attended the retreat included people of Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Baha'i, and Buddhist faiths. We celebrated our 10th year in partnership with Daughters of Abraham, a group of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim women who meet monthly to dialogue and build relationships. A People's Art Collaborative Workshop was held in partnership with Artes De La Rosa and the Amphibian Theater. This dynamic workshop encourages awareness, reflection, and conversation regarding critical issues. As part of the workshop, participants create an artistic representation of the topic. On the screen, you will see a list of some of the workshops and presentations that we've offered this past year. We are grateful to our community partners who invite us to be a part of their mission as we all build inclusive communities, working together to diminish prejudice and discrimination. This has been a year like no other in our lifetime. While this virus has divided and isolated us, the racial unrest and public injustices have stirred us. We invite you to join us in conversation and dialogue to be among the voices for positive change.